Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Dunkin' Donuts came out with some new spring items. So you know where we are. We are gonna be trying out all of them today. Doesn't look like a spring day out. But hey, the groundhog did not see his shadow. So spring is coming very soon, like a few more weeks. Today is just a very rainy day, but the items look delicious. So they have some new spiked refreshers out spiked i think that's the word that they used not alcoholic sparked sparked <laughs> i'm sure it would be good spike too but they're like energy lemonades which i know with panera those were not too safe but we will see and try these ones out and then they also came out with a churro donut churro coffees a breakfast empanada a banana chocolate chip bread and all of that good stuff so i ordered a lot here is my receipt we got the berry blast sparked energy the peach sunshine sparked energy the sausage egg and cheese breakfast empanada which taco bell just came out with an empanada so we're having lots of empanadas this week banana chocolate chip bread churro ice signature latte cinnamon vanilla iced coffee this one's not necessarily new it's newer it just sounded delicious so we're gonna try it the churro donut i got two of those churro iced coffee and a churro cold brew with sweet cold foam we got a whole bunch i did the on the app order just because it gets a little overwhelming when i'm ordering the whole menu i should just say like give me everything new but i feel like sometimes that could be confusing as well thank you for stopping can i get started for you hi i have an online order for stephanie go ahead and pull it up okay thank you breakfast empanada i'm so hungry hi Okay, thank you. Here's one set. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. You look pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Aw. Oh, my goodness. What a sweet lady. So, guys, tell me if I'm crazy or not. I think my hair is already growing. From when I took the extensions out, I feel like it was, like, up to there, and I feel like it already grew a decent amount. So... I'll tell you guys all the things I've been doing to it. And I'm about to go buy prenatal vitamins as well. Surprise, everyone. <laughs> no, I heard that by my two friends who do hair. They both told me, prenatal vitamins make your hair grow like crazy. I'm like, why have I not heard of this? Because I was about to get back on the horse shampoo. Because when I used horse shampoo, yes, horse, my hair was extremely long. So I was like, I'm about to go buy that again. But we'll talk about hair in a bit because I also want to get something done to it and I need your guys' like opinion. So let's see what we got in here. Here is the breakfast empanada. Okay, it's not the shape of a typical empanada. It looks like it's a toaster strudel that's what it's called i've never had one of those actually i was never a fan of like icing as a kid but it looks like that or a pop tart without icing smells like just bread but that has like eggs cheese and bacon in it and then here we have our banana chocolate chip bread i love banana chocolate chip and then the two churro donuts are just in the bottom of the bag without any like wrapper. <laughs> That's what they look like. They're very pretty. All right, well let's try these sparked lemonades first. The color is beautiful. I have looked on their 44 page nutrition thing. They don't make it too easy. Like they literally just have it page after page and you have to find which item. And I found this item and it doesn't tell you how much caffeine is in it, so I'm not sure. If I am able to find the fact, I'll put it up on the screen, but it's kind of dangerous. Let's see how it is. Okay. Mmm. That's good. It tastes like a Red Bull with like a strawberry lemonade. A berry lemonade. And I do like Red Bull. That it, it tastes like there's like some Red Bull in this. So if you don't like the flavor of Red Bull, you will not like this. Because I know some people hate the taste of Red Bull. You can't even really describe what it tastes like either. But I do like Red Bull. That's usually like my go-to drink when I go out to a bar. I get like a Red Bull vodka or Red Bull tequila. So I am a fan of Red Bull. So this is pretty good. 
It definitely tastes like an energy drink. Like, that does not taste like any regular lemonade. And now, let's try the orange one. This color is so pretty. Makes me think of spring, so they did that right. Hmm, I don't know which one I like better. They're both pretty good. They're not super fruity. It has just like a, a hint of peach in there. Mmm, I like that. Would I order those again? Probably not. But if you're in the mood for something like sweet, like a lemonade, but you want some energy, I'm curious how much is in there. Like if I drink that whole thing, am I going to be bouncing off the walls? I love bouncing off the walls. Like when I'll drink a coffee, sometimes it makes me hyper. Some days I am just more energetic than others and I don't know what it is. Like yesterday I was so energetic. I walked the dogs twice and I went to the gym. And I just did a lot. Like I was just so energized. And I did have a coffee, but also I drink coffee kind of a lot and it doesn't always do that to me. But the sun was out and it was like 55 degrees. So I think it could have just been the weather. It had me just in a good mood. Here's the inside of this one. Let me take another bite. That bite kind of was like a lot of bread. Mmm. That's pretty good. I like how soft this bread is. It just like falls apart in your mouth. It's thick though. It's like a biscuit. I wouldn't really say... Like, compared to the Taco Bell empanada, that was, like, crispy. This is more like a biscuit. Like, same texture as a flaky biscuit. Mmm. There's sausage in there, not bacon. That's pretty good. But, I wonder. Like, say I lived in Florida, and it was always sunny and, like, nice weather... Would I always be in just a good mood and so productive? Or does your body like get used to it and you don't like feel the serotonin from the sun as much as like, I don't know. Cause I feel like with the levels going up and down with the weather changing, then when the sun does come out, it makes you in such a good mood cause you don't have it all the time. But if you live in Florida, do you have that all the time? Because if so, one day I think I want to move somewhere hot all the time. This is good. And oh wait, I have Taco Bell sauce in here. Yes, that would be so good. I like got so many packets the last time I went to Taco Bell and I put them down in the little compartment since it's been cold out. Oh yeah. That's good. Mmm. So, I feel like my hair has not been dyed in two years. You can see like the dark at the top is my natural. And then the bottom has like my old grown out balayage. It just looks dull to me and I feel like I need to get it done. I also have some gray hair. So... I'm gonna put up a couple pictures of the hair I like and I sent it to my friend who does my hair and I'm like I think I want to get something like this done but I don't really want to bleach my hair because I'm on like this hair journey and I'm trying to get my hair super healthy and thick again and the only way to get like that lighter look because I don't want to go lighter but I want it like not all dark so just like low lights or like a few like light pieces but I don't know if I should bleach it what do you guys think Like, do I just add some darker pieces to it, get it, like, toned? I don't know. Does anyone have any suggestions on what I should do? Because I just am trying to make it healthy. But if I add just a little bit of bleach to it, like, is it that bad? I don't know. My hair's super fragile, so 
All right, let's try this churro iced coffee. This is just the original churro iced coffee, so it has two pumps of churro syrup in here. Mmm. That's good. It's not too sweet at all. It just has like a hint of cinnamon in it. Mm, I like that churro syrup. That's good. All right, now let's try the signature latte. I know this one's going to be sweet, but we got to try it. Oh, wow. That tastes like a churro like milkshake. You can taste the churro flavor way more in this one because this one has like less coffee and everything in it. This one has two pumps of churro syrup, milk, whipped cream, cinnamon sugar, and caramel drizzle. So this one has a lot more sweetness to it. I just know if I was younger, I would be obsessed with this. I'm not too crazy on the super sweet ones now. I like more caffeine and more coffee rather than the sugary ones. But when I was younger, like getting this has like a little treat. I know I would love this. I used to love their coffee culottes when I was younger. Like after cheer practice, I would always get one. They had like a little bit of coffee in it and just lots of sugar. Mmm, this reminds me of that. That's good. Honestly, after I tried the last batch of new items I tried from Dunkin', I like these ones a lot more. They're not as sweet. I feel like sometimes they're way too sweet. All right, so this is the iced cinnamon vanilla coffee. This has two pumps of churro syrup. Oh, so this must be new too then. Yeah, because it's the churro syrup. And then two shots of vanilla and then some cream. So this is the churro and vanilla mixed together. I feel like I might like this more. Ooh, their vanilla syrup I really like. That's creamy. Tastes like a stuffed cream churro. If you guys have had Mr. Heroes, who remembers when they had churros? They had stuffed churros. Oh my gosh, they were the best thing ever. I don't know if Mr. Heroes is just, I need to turn the heat on, it's getting a little chilly in here. I don't know if Mr. Heroes is just an Ohio thing, but I need to do a video there. It's so good. Let me know if you guys have had Mr. Heroes. I feel like it might just be an Ohio thing, but maybe you guys would be interested in seeing some more like local Ohio places. Honestly, I like them all so far. All right, now let's try the cold brew. This is probably the one I would more typically get because it's caffeinated and not super sugary. Sometimes the really sugary ones get me really jittery and make me feel actually just not good at all. Ooh. I like the cold foam on top. So this is again two pumps of churro syrup with cold brew and some cold foam. And I, there's not cream added to this. It just says black. So this one's probably the healthiest one I would assume. And I actually think I like this one the most. It's so cold. The other ones were like slightly warm and this one's like really, really cold. Cause it's a cold brew. Mmm, that's good. I will be finishing that one today. Now we try a donut. I got an extra in case my boyfriend wants it like tomorrow morning. Wow. It's literally the texture of a churro. It's super dense. I love all the cinnamon sugar on it. Like biting into cinnamon sugar. I like that texture. Very dense donut. I like the texture of the donut though, like biting into all the different pieces.
I don't know why, but I was not expecting this to be in a package. I was expecting it to be like warm and fresh. Smells really good though. Ooh, some nice moist chocolate cake. Mmm. <laughs> the pre-packaged one I think I like the most. It's nice and cold and spongy. Banana flavor things are just amazing. Like when I was younger and the ice cream truck would come, my go-to popsicle I'd get was the banana popsicle. It was like a double banana popsicle. Oh, it was so good. And then like my friends would all get like the SpongeBob one or like the cone shape one with the gumball at the bottom. But I was getting the banana. Wow. Honestly, this tastes like my banana muffin recipe. I just would want to add some butter. But I love butter. <laughs> Mm. That's good. So this weekend I'm going to a concert. I'm really, really excited. And I want to get my nail fixed before it. I called the nail salon and the girl who did my nails is taking a vacation for a month. So I'm like, shoot, who do I go to now? I wonder if my friend will be able to squeeze me in and get my hair done tomorrow if I like decided last minute so it would be done before the concert. I haven't been to a concert in so long. It's the J. Cole and Drake concert. So, so excited. I bought the tickets for like me and my boyfriend's Valentine's Day gift. I really wanted to go to the concert, so I got some tickets for us. So, this empanada. It's not even really like an empanada. I don't know. It's definitely like a biscuit. It's, it's more on the drier side. I feel like there could be more filling in it. It's not that filled. Like, I feel like they might as well call it like a thin breakfast pop tart, not an empanada. Like an empanada you think of like stuffed and like fluffy. Well guys, that was Duncan's new spring menu. Let me know down below which item you're excited to try or if you have a favorite so far. I've been doing these videos for like five years in a row, which is so crazy to think about. But anytime a place comes out with like a big drop of new items for spring or Christmas, like I get so excited to try them all. And I go home and I put the stuff in the fridge, like someone will drink it. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.